Okay, so let's look closer on a layout. And we kind of look before how we can work with the layout and what we can create it. But I want to look closer and some other options we have it inside there. So for this, first what I want to do, I want to create a layout generator right here. Okay. And we'll go take this and connect to Perlin. So we can control it. We'll go open our layout and you notice we have it right here, our layout generator, okay, which is connected to create terrain. And we have it, all these options that we can create that can apply it. So one thing, for example, what I want to do, I want to create maybe lake something around. So I'll go select circle. Okay. We right click. So to disconnect, right here, for example, on this circle and a layout when we have a shape, you notice we can shrink diameter if we need it. Okay, we can control follow out with this handle, and we can squish or extend a little bit differently. So again, reposition. Okay, same things we can do with a box. So let's create a box. Again, right click to deselect. We can reposition box, change sizes. The other interesting option, if you go to the side and double click, you can open the shape common properties for this specific shape you're creating. Where you have the height, so you can specify height of the object. And again, notice it's go to the top because two, six, two, five meters, it is high I set in the project for this. We can also work on opacity overall. Fall out distance. Right here from the center, this one will fall out. We also have additional options for the fallout type. And right here we have a different type. We have it exterior or interior. So we can you can see it's fallout inside or fallout outside. So exterior. We can increase amount of effect or decrease, and we can also modify um, pression. So we can this is okay, increase. Let's increase effect and modify it slightly. So you can see how we can modify our effects, if any there. Fallout types, fallout profile curves. S type. We can also edit the curve if we want it. Modify it in the way um, he does. We also can blend our curve with the default. And we also shape breakout participation. And we'll look on this. The breakup is one of the greatest addition to this because right here we have it all of the shapes. They look very geometrical, but that is basic shapes. To use them terrain, I want to actually modify them look more naturally. The world machine it is procedural, it is fractal based application, and we can apply those fractals merge with almost any shapes. To use this, we need enable use breakup. Look how it's instantly changed. Let's edit. And right here you can see we have breakups that we can modify scale, it will affect it. Roughness as well. Okay. We also can now say how much this breakup can apply. Notice it's apply to both of them. So to say how much of this breakup apply to single shape that we have it in our shape, we need to use it shape rock participation. So in this case, you can apply more to this. Okay, next let's go select circle. Okay, and in a circle, I can say how much I want to apply just specifically to this. So right here we start creating. We also use it before. Um, box, circle, 
polygons and we can modify some of this effect uh, the lines however it is still be kind of very interesting you can see I'm creating different shape of lines okay there is adjusting and, and next when I select on the line okay, so let's go right here this is my line okay. I can take this line and I can adjust I can have it handles to make curves you can see what it I can take a line or over or can take just single point and readjust this single point so it's going other ways of course if you click right here our shapes where we have it our height again apply to specific opacity fallout for any specific shape inside outside which is does not inside apply for the line it's because simple different type of the and as well global breakout we can apply it so right here you can see we can start drawing creating was again break up we can go and says how many of fractal participation scale so we can afford a little bit higher one and roughness it will add to small details so right here you can see one effect let's go as example we'll set roughness zero can see the roughness of small details is like almost gone okay so a little bit more and again we can decrease precipitation of fractal so it's a little less broken so much more smooth kind of lines going around okay now let's bring back okay right here the also next um, we can select shape list so right here we have a circle box and lines one thing you notice sometimes it does not update it so if your new shape is not here you can close it and open you also can preload it from the file as well okay right here we have our layout generator remember we always can switch to overview and preview this way as well if we're going inside right here we can see this our layout generator that we just created okay. this is our advanced parallel noise applied to that so let me go back here and here's our area extended area if you remember we selected so let me go adjust select and for example if I want to create bigger so I select this way now our parallel noise apply to all of this okay as well we can apply this and work directly with the another terrain if we need it okay so for example if I want this combined on terrain we can always just add connect here there we have it our terrain kind of okay let me zoom out okay, yeah just so right here you can see terrain that we applied of course if um, you want to create canyon or other things we need to take this layout and just invert it these inputs as well so our circles and all that stuff we need just put it in version inside and there you go so we're kind of changing well when we start working on a project you kind of get handle overall what I want to say this is kind of ways nice to create and work with uh, um, again layout you always can create a new layout and add in notice right here we have a new layout so currently it's right here we have a new generated layout that we can use it okay, let's delete this way and of course when we delete it it does not exist at this point 
let's go to select layout generator at this point okay hopefully it will help you and again in you can create a new um extend so let me create and we've done this a little bit before so in this case it will help you to create different viewports and manage them so let's set this as a current viewport and if we view this is what we have so we work directly with this it does help a little bit more when you start working with the different views and in the case when you start tiling or working with multiple maps because you notice it's a quite bit large size and very hard sometimes work so set this view ports and different will help you create a tiling and combine them together